Welcome back, refurbers and scruffy-looking nerve herders. Today, we take a walk through some of my favorite retro gaming shops in Akihabara. But in these uncertain times, a lot of places have been closed or are temporarily closed. So I'm going to take you around to the shops that we can find and get into. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll get to see what I picked up and you'll get to see what's still happening in Akihabara during these uncertain times. So sit back and let the music relax your mind and concentrate on the retro gaming happiness there is to be had. So here we are in Akihabara at Super Potato. Let's see if it's still open. I don't see any signs saying it's not, so let's take a walk on in. Everything seems normal. Let's take the stairs today. These are some steep stairs, so you've got to be in good shape to get up these bad boys, or else you'll be huffing and puffing. All right, it looks to be open. There's even customers inside. Here is the famous junk bin. We've got some Super Famicoms, some games in the box, not too bad. Fit Super Famicom says it's broken but it's probably in working order. I think it's going for about 800 yen Sega controllers. Super Famicom junk. What's this? Wrestlemania. That is a blast from the past. This might be one to pick up, not sure. We got the light guns, the Famicom light guns. They look like real guns, which is kind of cool, I think, like an old Western style gun. We got some family computers that say remodeling. Looks like they've been done from RF signal to regular audio video. Going for Ichiman, which is about 100 bucks US. Got a display case. Got Empire Strikes Back. 80 bucks. Just a plethora. Here's all the Famicom collection in all its glory. This is probably where I spend most of my time here when I come to this shop. This place is like a museum, if you haven't heard that before, but you can really spend a lot of time in here. Neo Geo games down in the bottom. Kirby, there's a Super Famicom section, the loose carts on the left. What do we have today? Got Fire Emblem. 1,800 yen, so about 18 bucks for that. Any Fire Emblem fans down there, go ahead and tell me what it's like in the comments. Uh, Super Metroid, 30 bucks. Bomberman 3, about 10 bucks. Rockman 7 is about 10 bucks. Rockman X is about 750. Rockman and Folte. Rockman 3, X3, Rockman X2. Go uh, Goemon, Tiny Toons, Turtles in Time. That is an expensive one, about close to $50. Just a tip out there for anyone that's listening, uh, a lot of these games can be picked up for a lot cheaper on Yahoo Auctions Japan. I don't know how about eBay, because I don't use eBay, I strictly use Yahoo Auctions because I'm residing here and it's much easier and actually cheaper too for me. If anybody uses Yahoo Auction in the States, please let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to know who actually uses Yahoo, if anyone does. Got our nice collection of Dreamcast games. 
some Street Fighter, different editions. We got our boxed Super Famicom games with Ronald McDonald hanging up over the top of them. So here we got the boxed Famicom game. Goonies 2, Twin B, Parodius, 43 bucks. Gradius, 38 bucks. Gradius 2, 27 bucks. Salamander, the clear one, that's a pretty cool game. 56 bucks, that's kind of steep. 1942, $43, that's pretty steep for that game. Mega Man 4, $48. Mega Man 5, $37. Dragon Buster 2, Loop on the 3rd, $39. Yokai Dochu, $17. Metro Cross. Karnov, $42. Kaino Boken, $34. I did not catch the name of that. Uh, Dragon Quest II and Dragon Quest IV, a little bit cheaper. Uh, what do we have? Ikari 2, 32. Ikari 1, 33. And the beloved Japanese. Kunio Kun. I am not. I haven't played a lot of these. Uh, anyone give me a suggestion? What's a good one to start with? Just let me know down in the comments. Suidomon 2. That is another Japanese, actually, television program drama. Uh, Bomberman 2, $36. Bomberman 1, $41. Star Soldier, Ice Climber, Fire Emblem. Yes, $22.80. Joy Fighter, that's one of my faves. Also Kirby, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario Brothers USA, which is Super Mario Brothers 2 in the US. Let's skip along here. There's some more Super Mario USA and my beloved right here. $47 for this Star Wars. I just love the case on this. Can I get a thumbs up for the case on this? Uh, it's very retro. It looks straight out of the 70s. It's got that gradation on the on the binder part of it. This one just looks like it has missing stickers and a little bit of damage to it. 36 bucks. I actually got a good deal on Yahoo Auction for about 12 bucks and about the same condition as well. So, like I said, let me know if you guys use Yahoo Auctions. Uh, Twin B3, 37 dollars. We got this live in Power Bowl. Anyone familiar with this game at all? Comes in a cool case. I don't know if this is like a more recent release. I don't know. I doubt it if it's in the in this section. Nope, oh, we've got lots of games. Here we go with the loose games. My favorite loose games. I'm not a big box collector. I prefer loose games because you can play them right away. You don't have to worry about the box getting damaged. I don't have a lot of space for boxes either living in Japan, so definitely loose games. Anyone else go for just loose games? Let me know down in the comments or hit me up on chat. What loose, what loose games do you look for? What's your favorite? Famicom games actually. There's going on. We just saw a bunch of Mega Man games. Contra, Super Contra. That is an expensive one. 54 to what's this other one say? 54 for Contra, the original. Gradius. Gradius 2. There is uh is the name of that game uh, Castlevania yes I think that was Castlevania 3 actually uh, and then Salamander 27 bucks like I said I've seen this go for about 900 to a thousand on the Yahoo auction so y'all trying to get a deal on that I would definitely hit Yahoo auction um, what else Here's one. Red Arima 2. Anyone familiar with that game? 
I like the artwork because it looks a lot like uh, ghosts and goblins or ghouls and goblins. Ghosts and goblins, that's right. We got the classic games like Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, Pac Man, Pac Man Land, Mappy Land, uh, Wagyan Land, Super Chinese, Babel, Yokai Dochu, Metro Cross, and the Kunio games again. Gotta love them Kunio games. Let me know. What's your favorite Kunio game? And Bokenishima. Okanjima 2. It's another one I don't think I've ever actually played. Bikuri World. I see that every once in a while. Bikuri World. Who knows Bikuri? Bikuri World. Anyone play that? And you got our Mario Brothers, Super Mario Bros. And Super Mario Brothers 3. And then Super Mario USA. Kirby. Fire Emblem. 10 bucks. Mother. About 20 bucks I think it's pretty standard Zelda goes for 43 to 49 looks like Donkey Kong 3 for 10 bucks Donkey Kong jr. this one is says 20 bucks because I think that label is a bit more rare with the picture on it yeah there's the one without that on it with the beat oh, what do you call that the heartbeat type mark heartbeat monitor mark Whatever you want to call that for like five or six hundred. And Ninja Gaiden 2. I think that was a Ninja Gaiden 3 2. Ninja Gaiden 3, 2, and 1. Those games are awesome. What's your favorite Ninja Gaiden? And Dragon, Double Dragon, excuse me. I still have yet to get this on Famicom, but I love playing this on my Game Boy. Dragon, uh, Double Dragon, excuse me. <clears throat> Sky Kid, what's your most nostalgic game? guys out there watching ladies and gentlemen watching and we got the Dragon Ball series of games uh, as far as I know most of these Dragon Ball games I haven't played many of them but the ones that I did they were not that great and we got our Famicom there's some virtual boy games we just got a handful there 10 bucks for galaxy pinball galactic pinball and we got our Famicom Disk System games. I love collecting for the Famicom Disk System. Uh, second favorite to the Famicom. Anyone else collect Famicom discs out there? What's your favorite Famicom disc? I'd say my favorite Famicom disc that I own has to be Zelda, because that's the first, one of the first Nintendo games I ever got. So finding out that that was uh, released originally on the Famicom disc and how it had a better music track on the, the Japanese version in the Famicom disc was pretty cool to find out so I still think Zelda's my favorite let me know what your favorite is alright so let's get out of Super Potato and take a stroll down the street and see what other game shops are open Today is a very sunny day. Uh, I'm just on my way home from work and decided to stop by Akihabara just to see how things are going. As you can see, there's a lot of gates closed on many shops. Kotobukiya here on the right, the gates closed on it. It's got a sign saying, you know, temporary closure. There's still a lot of shops like Akibo that's open. This game center on the left is closed. Skimo, Skumo, excuse me, the computer store is open. Uh, ramen shops, food stores are usually mostly open. There's another uh, shop of Skumo. You can see Trader in the distance over here. Freighter looks to be open, lights are on, doors open, no signs telling you to, they're closed, so they are open. It's another open, so we got Super Potato and Trader 2 is open. It is a gorgeous day. Alright, here we got a closure, Sega 
What does it say? Temporary closing. Sega. The um, Game Center arcade here looks to be completely shut down. Which makes sense. Don't want a heck of a lot of people playing video games with a lot of other people playing video games. Greasy hands. On controls. Sharing germs. Probably not a good idea. So, they're closed. That's another one that's been closed. What else do we have down the street? While you're watching, it would help me out a lot if you could tell me what kind of videos you like watching from me. Uh, just click the card in the upper right and there'll be a option to just click um, if you like modding videos or these game hunting videos or if you like both, write both. Uh, just give one of those a click. That would help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Tokyo Radio Department Store. This is one of my favorite places to come for getting parts like capacitors and um, other things like that. Electronic parts. It's a lot of fun to look at. A lot of little stalls and things, but they are pretty much shut. Let's see what the notice says and read it. Yes, from April 12th to May 3rd, they are shut down. And it is currently May 1st. So one of my favorite shops down there is Kaden no Kenchan. And it looks to be closed. There's a sign saying do not come in. April 16th to May 6th, they're closed. Oyaidi Denki. This place I often get like wires and cables. If I'm doing controller mods or whatever kind of wire your wire needs are. I, you can get it here. Shrink tubing, multiple wires, all kind of stuff. They're still open. If you're a modder, you're all set. They still got all your mod, a lot of mod stuff or some, you got your cables anyways. So as you can see under the main bridge here in Akihabara, there is a lot less people. There is a lot less people. I'd say there's only like I don't know, 10% of the people that normally are here. And we got another Sega Arcade that has been closed. All the red gates are shut. That's another big one. I'm sure those of you that have been to Akihabara know this Sega Arcade. Let's see what the sign says. Can we read it? Ninji Kyugyo Shirase. Just saying. Temporary closure. Got us ramen. Another Another Sega Arcade, which is also very much closed. The Sangokan, the number three Sega Arcade, is also not open. All right. Apparently, the cosplay cafes are still open. There are many people out trying to get you to come into the cafe. So that's still going on. We've got Yoshinoya's open. Go Go Gorilla Curry is open. What else? You can see soft map from here. I can't tell if it's open. It is a beautiful day as you can see from the sky. All right. As we cross the street, you can see across the street, big camera is open on the corner there. Sun is bright in the sky today. The land of the rising sun lives up to its name. So the next shop 
we're getting in line to see is Trader and also Retro Gaming Camp. The soft map on the corner here looks to be open from what I can see. There's a lot less people than normal. Everyone, as you can see, is wearing a mask. Almost everyone. The Yahoo mobile shop is open. Soft map is open. How many people can you count with masks on? There's one, two, there's one without a mask on. Oh, and my favorite, Mr. Donut, is also temporarily closed till the 6th of May, looks like. Walk down the street some more. There's another soft map store and a computer store here on the corner that are open. Another mask wear, a couple of mask wears. G Tune is closed temporarily. Um, here we come to Trader. And what is this that we see? The gate seems to be shut on the side and in the front. So that is a negative on Trader. Retro Game Trader is also closed. If we get close, let's take a look at what their hours are or how light they're closed, how long they're going to be closed for. Let's take a look at the real quick. Now we've got a schedule here. It tells what building is open and what is closed. Looks like, yeah, the blue is open, red is closed. So they're closed today. Go up a little further to see how Retro Game Camp is faring in this. A lot of mask wearers. Mask, mask, mask. I also have a mask on if you are concerned about that. Retro Game Camp, here we are. And they are closed. Shutter is down. And I read earlier they are just temporarily closed. What does it say exactly? Till the 7th of May they're closed. And back on our journey. How about the Retro Gaming Camp dungeon is up here on the left. Let's see. Yes, the dungeon is also very much closed, it looks like. The gate is down. So, both retro game camps are closed. The main one and the dungeon are both closed. Our next stop on the agenda is... Beep and Surugaya. So let's take a stroll down to those two shops and see if they are open in this crazy time. Some more mask wearers. Usually it would be very, very crowded because it is a Friday. It's the first of the month. People have got their paychecks. They're ready to go and buy some retro games. And what will they find if they go to Beep here on our left? We see... What is this yellow thing right in the way of the stairs to get down? Uh-huh, because of the whole virus... They will be closed until the 6th of May. So there will be no beep happiness on this retro gaming hunt. Let's go next door to Surugaya, which looks to be open. They've got their sign out. 
all the difference is, is they have, it looks like, reduced hours from 10.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. from April 8th to May 6th. So that is just uh, shortened hours, but they're still open. So let's go check in on Sudogaya, see what retro games we can find today. They do have customers. Lots of boxes out front, like usual. Got their loose carts. Got our junk bins. A lot of stuff in the junk bin. Hajime no Po, which is a boxing game for PlayStation 2. Or PlayStation 1, excuse me. PSP, Monster Hunter 3. GameCube. Is this Naruto? I think. And this is also Naruto, a different game, I imagine. Monster Hunter 4. Another GameCube, it looks like. Oh, winning post for SNES. Formula One. We got One Piece game for GameCube. Moving right along. My favorite section of boxed Famicoms and loose Famicoms. A few games I have never seen before here. 37 and 44. Anyway, know these games? I can't, it looks like a Mahjong game. I can't really tell. That same Mahjong looking game. Anyone know it? Crisis Force, $82. Anybody play Crisis Force before? Salamander in the box, $55. Castlevania, $39. All the Famicom games here. I'm going to rest my voice for a little bit. If you see anything that piques your interest, leave me a comment and I'll be back towards the end of the video. I might chime in from now and then, but I'm just going to let you guys watch. So let the music calm your nerves while I take you on a ride. A retro game hunting ride.
we say farewell to Surugaya and our next stop is going to be another big retro gaming shop big surprise but we're just gonna take a stroll down the street to another big one I think you may know it it's called Mandarake so let the music take you to Mandarake And I'm back. So, did you like the walk? Now, as you can see, the doors are open to Mandarake. It looks like we are good to go for some more retro game hunting inside. So, I'm gonna be quiet until the next shot. Enjoy. Okay, I just have to say that was a lot of stairs and I am having trouble breathing now. But we made it to the retro gaming floor. Let's take a look inside. See anything you like? Leave me a comment.
All right, that was a nice little look around. So now we're gonna head to, since I brought my bike, we're gonna head back to my bike. Then we're gonna hop on and check out the last store for the day, which is called Friends. So let's go see if Friends is open. Enjoy the walk down there. Let the soothing tune take you back.
Okay, let's park the bike. We have arrived. As you can clearly see, this is a retro game store. It says so. All right. Oh, they have their sign out, which is a good sign. No pun intended. Take it upstairs see what it if the door is open or not oh that's a good sign the door is open what's this sign emergency declaration do not enter if you do not wear a mask luckily I have my mask on so I'm going to enter and be polite look at these the junk bin unfortunately this is all I was able to capture on footage because the man kindly asked me not to film inside, so I kindly didn't film inside. But they're open. You can go check out Friends. They're an awesome shop. And now it is time for the ride home. But before that, I promised you to see what I got. I decided to pick up Wrestlemania for the Super NES. I don't have this game. Anybody out there play this game? I think I played this when I was a kid, but I don't remember. Super nostalgic, all you WWF fans out there, Hulk Hogan fans. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you found this entertaining. Also, if you like this video, please share it with a friend. That also helps me out a lot. Go ahead and click the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen to get more retro game hunting. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Stay scruffy looking. Who's scruffy looking?